Hey Praise Kids, Pastor Steve here, and I have a lesson for you today with a very important message. The message is, God is real. That's important for us to know. And today, I'm in my puppet theater because I have two puppets to tell you a story from the Bible that proves that God is real. The first puppet is Moses. He's a pretty famous person in the Bible, you know that? The second puppet might surprise you. It's a bush. How could a bush be a character? Well, we're gonna tell you the story and you're gonna find out. Because Moses was out in the desert and he was taking care of some sheep. And one day he was wandering along and he saw this bush. Now, we all see bushes all the time out there. No big deal, right? But there was something about this bush that made Moses go, what? What's going on with this bush? Because the bush was on fire. Now, even that might not seem too strange, but Moses said this bush was really different. It was on fire, but it wasn't burning up. If you look at the bush, you see the leaves were still green. Normally when a bush catches on fire, the leaves would be brown and the branches would all burn up and turn into ash. This bush was burning, but it wasn't burning up. And that's what caught Moses' attention. So he started going towards the bush and all of a sudden the bush started talking to him. And it said, Moses, take off your shoes because the place that you're walking is holy ground. And Moses said, who are you? And out of the bush, the flame said, I am God who called you to set my people free. You see, Moses' people, the people of Israel, they were being held captive as slaves in Egypt. And they were crying out to God to save them. And God heard their cry and he told Moses, I heard the cry of the people and I'm sending you to go set the people free. Moses said, well, how can I do that? I don't even know what to say. And God said, I will tell you what to say and I will show you how to do miracles. Miracles? How can I do a miracle? And God said, well, you're holding a staff in your hand. Throw it on the ground and see what happens. So Moses threw his staff on the ground. And guess what? It turned into a snake. And Moses was running away because he was afraid of the snake. And God said, pick it up by the tail. And when Moses picked it up by the tail, it became a stick again. Well, by then, Moses was sure of a couple things. One, God is real. And two, if God tells you to do something, you should probably do it because he was gonna go now to Egypt and he was gonna show all those miracles to Pharaoh and Pharaoh was finally gonna set the people of Israel free. So we know that God is real. Moses found out that God is real. I want you to think about some things that tell us what is real. Sometimes we think that the only thing that's real is something we can see or something we can feel or touch. But I wanna ask you a question. There's air all around us, isn't there? Can you see it? No, not really. Can you touch it? Well, it doesn't feel like anything, but we know that air is real and we breathe it all the time, right? So it's real even though we can't see it or feel it. How about another example? the wind. We know there's a thing called wind. We can feel it on our skin maybe when it blows by us, or we can see what it does when it blows in the trees or, or, or blows the leaves around. But you can't really touch the wind, but it's real. You know it is. Here's another one for you. You're listening to my voice right now. Can you hear my voice? Yes, you can. Can you see my voice? No, you can't. Can you touch my voice? No, you can't. So things can be real even if we can't see them or touch them or feel them. 
And here's the most important thing I want you to understand. Can you see love? Not really. You can see people do things that are loving, like give a hug or do something nice. But love is real. We know it's real, even though we can't see it, we can't touch it, we can't pick it up. It's just a real thing. Well, you know what the Bible says? The Bible says, God is love. God is love. So if love is real, then we know that God is real. And that's our lesson for this week, to know that God is real and he really loves you. And I hope you know that. And you don't need to see a burning bush to know that God is real. All you need to know is love. And guess what? God loves you, and so do I. I'm glad you were watching today. Have a great week. Bye-bye.